Hello friends, today I will discuss the color replacement tool in Adobe Photoshop. Here is the color replacement tool. Here you will find the brush properties. Here is the mode. I am going for hue. Change the foreground color. Now paint on the apple. It will change hue, but saturation and brightness will remain constant. I am trying now comparatively lighter shade. No changes in saturation, only the hue changed. Use comparatively darker shades. Only the hue changed. Now I am going for saturation. Change the foreground color. Now paint on the apple. It's changing the saturation. I'm trying now comparatively lighter shade. You can see the changes in saturation. Use comparatively darker shades. The changes in saturation are visible. Now I am going for color. Change the foreground color. Now paint on the apple, it's changing color. I'm trying now comparatively lighter shade. You can see the color changes. Use comparatively darker shades. The color changes are visible. Now I am going for the luminosity. Change the foreground color. Now paint on the apple. It's changing the luminosity. I am trying now comparatively lighter shade. You can see the changes in luminosity. Use comparatively darker shades. The changes in luminosity are visible. Now I am going for the sampling ones with the hue mode. Set the foreground color as blue. Start painting from the red mango. There are no effects on other colors except red. As we started painting from red mango, it will work on red color only. Now I am going for sampling continuous. Start painting from the red mango. It's making the effect on all colors. Now I am going for the sampling background swatch.
set the background color pick up the color from the yellow mango the foreground color is blue start painting from the red mango it will make the effect only on the background color that we set earlier and there are no effects on other colors here are limits i am going for the discontinuous set the foreground color as blue now click on a specific color within the brush area it will make effects on other parts of the same color now i am going for the contiguous click on a specific color it will create an effect on the contiguous part of that color sometimes bleeding occurs at the edge of the object while color replacing to resolve this we can set limits to the fine edge now it will easily trace the edge of the object here you can change the tolerance i am setting this at 10% and set the sampling once start painting there are no effects on other colors except some portion of yellow shade it's only creating an effect on the shade where we started painting and on similar shades now i am going to change tolerance to 86% start painting it will create an effect on all other shades next we have anti alias first we paint without checking this you can see the edge is rough and unsmooth now check the anti alias and paint again you can see the edge is smooth now Thanks for watching.